Okay, scholars, so I wanted to show you, here is the hot plate. I haven't put the Hershey Kiss on there or turned it on. Here is the lamp, haven't turned it on yet. This is just gonna be a Hershey Kiss sitting in room temperature. And then this is my hand that I'm gonna put the Hershey Kiss in and I'm gonna have a timer for each one. Now, one thing you need to remember about lab safety is you need to make sure you wear your goggles. So I'm gonna put my goggles on while I do this. All right. I also have this in case I pick up the silver thing. So nothing has been turned on yet. All right, here's the Hershey Kiss sitting on here. Next is going to be the lamp. Good old lamp. I'm not gonna turn anything on yet, but I am gonna get the lamp pretty low onto that. Next Hershey Kiss is going to sit in room temperature and I'm going to start the timer for each of these right when it's, it's ready. And then the last Hershey Kiss, okay, there's the room temperature one. And then the last Hershey Kiss is gonna sit in my hand. All right. So basically, based on your time predictions, that's gonna tell you which one melted the fastest. All right, so here we go. On, on, sitting in my hand. I'm gonna start the timer for all of these. And here we go. All right, so. There you go, there you go, there you go. I'm gonna press pause, because I know you don't wanna just sit here and stare at a video, so I'll unpause in a bit. Okay, just to give you a little update, if you notice, it's like, I'm, I can feel the chocolate kind of melting. For sure, for sure you can see this Hershey Kiss melting. You can even hear the sizzle. Not sure about this. This one's just doing nothing. So, oh snap. Look at that. This is at two minutes and 21 seconds right now. But remember, it hasn't melted completely. So, All right, so I wanted y'all to see my hand, see some of the chocolate kind of melting into my hand. Here is an update of the hot plate. I kind of lowered the temperature a bit just because like it was, I don't want to cook the chocolate, I want to melt the chocolate. Hmm, we can kind of check this out and see if it's like soft from the heat. Mm, it's kind of soft, not really. Let's test the room temperature one. Oh, this is definitely a little bit harder than the lamp one. Okay, I wanted y'all to see something that I'm going to do. That is some intense melting. That is some intense melting. That is thermal energy for you. Wanted to give y'all an update of the chocolate in my hand. Clearly, I can't give as much thermal energy that a hot plate can, but your hand does have some thermal energy. Okay, so I just want y'all to see the Hershey Kiss actually cooked. I ended up, uh, there was a lot of heat, but it did pretty much melt. This is what the bottom of the Hershey Kiss looks like that was on my hand. And then this is the lamp and this is the room temperature, which nothing really happened. But my hand put a little bit, bit of heat energy, a little bit of thermal energy to get the bottom part to start softening, which um, we would be here forever to watch it melt. But it's safe to say the hot plate uh, was able to melt it pretty much in around eight minutes. And these, I mean, my hand barely started melting. So we would be here for a while.